Hi everyone. This video I try to go through the overtaking, uh, specifically on uh, opposing lane. So if you have um, like a highway and you have two lanes each direction, and how you can make vehicles to overtake uh, using the other direction's carriageway. So what we need to do that for that. So first, uh, there's a very simple model. So there is one link going uh, left, and there is one link going to the right. However, when you want to have the overtaking to happen, what you need to do, you need to add another lane. So it is um, a two lane section in the middle, just basically a normal single link. So like that. And what you do is you just basically set it two lane and you need to select this has overtaking lane and just see what happens. It will create this hatching with pink. It will not be able, to, it vehicles can't use it normally. So it won't be as a normal, like a two lane link, but it will only look for overlapping on another link to use it. So let's move it up there. So now this way, this hedged area is available for overtaking. What else you need to set? So when we go back first, <clears throat> excuse me, you can uh, block vehicles, vehicle classes in that lane. If you block any vehicle classes in that lane, they won't do overtaking. The um, there is a connector at the end and there is a lane changing distance there. This is also taken into account. So when a vehicle overtakes, it will not do it within this. It will not start the, the uh, overtaking within this uh, distance. And when you click on this link again, go to others. And here, overtaking the opposing lane, you need to set up certain things. So Look ahead distance. That is the distance a vehicle will look ahead in the opposing one. So let's say vehicle is here and 700 meters it look ahead to check for any oncoming vehicles. It will assume if it can't see any vehicle along that stretch, it will assume that vehicle will be at the end, even if, even if it can't see one. It will assume that there is one at the end of that 700 meter um, length with this speed. So if there is no vehicle in the opposing lane, it will check um, and it will calculate if it can do the overtaking maneuver. If there is a vehicle at the end with that speed, if there is a vehicle within that, if it can see that vehicle, it will use that vehicle's actual speed to calculate if it can undertake the maneuver or not. This overtaking speed factor is by default 1.3. And it, this one basically increases the desired speed of that vehicle. So if you set it to 50, it will be 50 times 1.3. And then it will do the maneuver. So let's see how it works. So there are some slower heavies and then now this guy comes but there is already someone and it could start doing it because it was just further away from the 200 but still can finish it and still this vehicle was far away. But let's complicate this a bit. So how it actually works. Let's say I put it this way. So there is no overlapping. This way, this link acts like a single lane link. So no one can actually use this and no overtaking will happen. What you need to do, so if you do it like this, for example, Vizim will check for this overlapping area and only this will be available for overtaking. If this link is cut, 
in multiple places, it will still be considered as one. So the overtaking will not stop here and then um, this will be another link where they can start overtaking. So it will be as, as one continuous overtaking. So overtaking can, can only happen here. I think that's it for today. It was a very quick and um, simple video. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe if you like this content and um, let me know your comments or suggestions for any future videos. Thanks for watching.